Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of Super Mario Sunshine. In the last episode, we started with Pianta Village, and we made our way through pretty quickly. But we still have some left to go to finish it off, but in this episode, I totally forgot that we didn't get the 30 blue coins of Pinna Park, so that's what we're going to be doing today. So, let's head into the cannon and get started with the 30 blue coins. Alright, so we are going to start with episode 2, the Beach Cannon Secret, because there are quite a few blue coins in the beginning part of the level. Alright, so I'm sure you guys have noticed the baskets that are over here. And these baskets actually contain blue coins in them. So one way to do this would be to get a bullet bill, a homing bullet bill, to come and try to hit you. Alright, so here comes a homing one right now. Boom! There's blue coin number one. Here comes another homing one. Lure it. There we go. Blue coin number two. Right, here comes another homing one, so we gotta go further out this time and lure it to this one. Boom! Blue coin number three. Alright, here comes another one. Gotta lure it right over here. Ooh, there we go. Blue coin number four. Each new blue coin that we gotta get is further and further away. So, gotta lure it all the way over here. Boom! Blue coin number five. And we got one more, which this one already showed up, so perfect. And there we go, blue coin number six. So blue coin number seven can still be found on this beach, and it's going to be close to Yoshi, exactly right where I'm standing. And you want to spray the beach right here, and don't get hit by these bullet bills. Preferably be better if you didn't have the bullet bills, but I'll deal with it. But you get a blue outline of the shine sprite, and a blue coin comes out, and there's blue coin number seven. Alright, so I decided to get rid of the guy from throwing bullet bills at me, because there is another outline here that reveals another blue outline of a shine sprite. Blue coin comes out, and there's blue coin number eight. So blue coin number nine can actually be a uh, retrieved from Yoshi. There is a pineapple, which you just want to spray the beach until a fruit comes out. And since Yoshi wants pineapples, we give it to him, and here we go. And there are blue butterflies here. So you want to eat this one. Blue coin number nine, and there's one more blue butterfly that's here. And blue coin number ten. So the next blue coins that we're going to be getting, the rest of them are going to be found in the Yoshi Go Rounds Secret, episode six. Alright, so as you enter the park, there are going to be some blue coins to the right. So the first one is in this little turn, uh, this little merry-go-round thing, or shell ride, whatever you want to call it. You open up the green one, and a blue coin appears, and there's blue coin number 11. Alright, so blue coin number 12 can actually be found right here, and we want to do a bit of a wall jump just like that. It's a little tricky when you're doing it in the water. Usually I've done it by using the hover nozzle, but uh, the wall jump actually works better. So blue coin 13 can be found at this M graffiti that's right here. So you want to spray the M, blue coin comes out, and there's blue coin number 13. Blue coins 14 and 15 can be found by spraying this X here, and you want to spray this X on this Pianta tree, or as some people call it, a Deku tree. Um, I, I believe it's just a Pianta tree. It's a tree that's shaped like a Pianta, so. You want to make your way over to this side, grab that blue coin, and then you want to do the same thing for this X, Spray this one, and the blue coin comes out of the tree. And then we want to make our way back as fast as possible. So the route that I usually take is this one. You want to hurry before it disappears. And there we go, blue coins 14 and 15. Blue coins 16 and 17 can be found with these graffitis as well, but it's a triangle graffiti. So there's one that's 
right next to the bananas here. You want to spray that, and it's actually at the base of the windmill. Or the fer windmill. Ferris wheel. I don't know why I called it a windmill. I'm used to Bianco Hills, I guess. But you make it to the top. Blue coin 16. And then you want to do the same thing here. Spray the triangle graffiti. Blue coin comes out. And you want to make your way to the bananas, which is actually easier. You just drop down like this, grab it, and there's blue coin 16 and 17. Blue coin 18 can be found here. You just want to spray these stews off of each other, where the big one is revealed. Stump on them, all of them die, and a blue coin comes out. And there's blue coin 18. Blue coin 19 can be found by this palm tree that's here, and right on this wall is an M graffiti. And it's right behind the Ferris wheel. So you spray the M, blue coin comes out, and there's blue coin number 19. Directly behind the Ferris wheel, where this waterfall here, this area of water with grates and whatnot, there's an M that's high up on this side of the wall. You just want to spray it, blue coin pops out, and there's blue coin number 20. So you want to climb your way up to the Ferris wheel. You can either ride the Ferris wheel by standing on top of those seats there on the top of that. Or you can just climb from the back, from where we got that last blue coin. It's totally up to you. But up here, there is circle graffiti. There's one on this side and one on the opposite side. So what we want to do is we want to spray these, just like we did with the other ones. Spray them until this disappears. Blue coin comes out on the other side. And you want to quickly make your way over. Since the distance is pretty short, you have plenty of time. There's blue coin number 21. And then we spray this circle. That blue coin pops out. And then we head over here. And there's blue coin 21 and 22. So as you can see, blue coin 23 can be found right over here, right behind this little jutting out point on this platform. Just pick it up and there's blue coin 23. Blue coin 24 can be found just by climbing, climbing up here at the top. And there's a blue coin that's floating up in the air. You just drop down and there's blue coin 24. And 25, you just hover your way over and grab this one. Blue coin 25, and there you go. If you've fallen down, that's okay. Just make your way back to the top. And you want to wait until the ships here do an upside down motion. Because you need that in order to get over to this platform right here. I know it's a little bit tricky, but there's a blue coin up here and there's blue coin number 26. Blue coin 27 can be found where this blue bird is at the top of this gazebo here. And just like, just as usual with any bird, you want to spray them until a blue coin pops out of them. There we go. Spray them. Blue coin pops out. Go and grab it. And there's blue coin number 27. Blue coin 28 can be found by another bluebird, which is close to the front entrance. It's kind of hard to find because it kind of flies everywhere in this area, so you just want to keep an eye out on it. There we go. Drops blue coin, pick it up, and there's blue coin number 28. So blue coin number 29 can actually be found here on this grate, so you want to flip up like this, use your hover to grab the bottom. Make sure you use your A button, or if you're using like a PlayStation controller, if you're playing an emulator, X button. Flip there, and inside this box, there's a blue coin. You jump up and grab it, and there's blue coin number 29. So for the last blue coin, we are going to need Yoshi for this, and he wants pineapples. So let's go get him a pineapple. Here's your pineapple, Yoshi. All right, so where we want to go is we want to head to the other side of the park. And once I get there, I'll show you exactly what we do. So you want to head to this side of the park, um, which there's a beachy side. There's two palm trees here. And where these flowers are, you have golden butterflies and you have a blue butterfly. Now, obviously, this blue butterfly is important because when Yoshi eats it, blue coin comes out and there's the 30th blue coin. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this episode of Super Mario Sunshine. We got all 30 blue coins of Pinna Park. That went by actually really fast. I'm, I, I knew this it was going to be easier than Noki Bay, but oh my gosh. I'm surprised I remember all of them. <laughs> 
But if you guys did enjoy this, be sure to hit the like button if you haven't already. It would mean a lot to me. It lets me know that you guys are enjoying this series and this episode specifically. And don't forget to subscribe as well. That also really helps me out too. I have been Savvy, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. See you later.